Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm really excited to do. I'm going to be ranking all of the makeup that I've tried in the past month. This is my makeup monthly for the month of November. <laughs> I always get a little bit mixed up in these, but I will link my makeup monthly playlist down below where I rank all the products that I've been trying from my least favorite to my top favorite. I just have a couple items to review in today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. Let me hop into my outfit of the day. This is the third video I'm filming today. This is what Vlogmas does. So once again, I have on my black leather pants, my slippers, and then I just put on this comfy sweater from Express. Uh, haven't done my hair. I don't know when this video is going up because I'm just kind of filming all over the place, but my extensions are about to get moved up. So we've just kind of given up on the hair. And I have done a little bit of filming for this makeup look on my Instagram, which is Merch Beauty Word, using two of the new Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop in their little Best Friends collection. And I will link all of my makeup down below. But I just have a handful of products to talk about for today's video because I feel like a lot of the products that I've been testing out recently, I've purchased myself from Sephora. And I will be doing a Sephora a ranking video next for all of my purchases that I made during the Sephora holiday savings event. So stay tuned for that one. But I did still have a handful of products. I do a creator shout out in these videos and I actually do have a five star book to share at the end of this video, finally. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. But let's go ahead and hop into it. So we are going from number six to number one. So starting off at number six, this is a mascara from Essence. This is their Good Stuff Volume Mascara. I'll say with this video, I knew what my last one was going to be. I knew what my first one was going to be. Everything else in between I thought was pretty good. But I knew that this one was going to be at the bottom because it just doesn't seem to do anything for my lashes. I am pretty particular when it comes to my mascaras. There's mascaras that I go back to again and again and again. I have the Rare Beauty on. I love Lawless Beauty. Love the Maybelline Sky High. This mascara just really doesn't do anything. I mostly just use it to like either prep my lashes if I'm wearing false lashes, which I've been doing a little bit these days, but not, not a whole ton. Um, or like I'll put it on as a first coat and then I'll put another mascara over it because it's just not enough to do anything with my lashes. I know a lot of people really like Essence mascaras, but there's a lot of them that, that just don't really work out for me. I know that these are really affordable. If you maybe have really great lashes and you just want to make them like a little bit darker or something maybe this could be a good option for you but it just don't work for me all right again so like i said everything in the middle here i think is pretty fine like i like these products it was really hard to decide where to rank them but next up i wanted to talk about the ColourPop and rudolph collection so coming in at number five i think this is a decent collection i've used the eyeshadow palette quite a few times i did show a look um i have a video using the full collection here on YouTube that I can link and then I also featured this palette in my week in a life vlog that I did and um, I use the green shadows in there and I really like how that look came out I think this is a really nice eyeshadow palette I think it's very cohesive there's a lot of different looks I can do with it it's not like an absolute like wowzers stand out to me but I think it's pretty I think it's very you know holiday appropriate holiday themed I like the little mirror in here I like all the the design work the lip glosses I don't mind I actually have this gloss on today which is in uh, Misfit Elephant this is the gloss that I have with a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner ColourPop glosses aren't my absolute favorite, but I don't mind the Luxe glosses. I think that they're fine. Um, so there was a lot more that came with the collection, but these were kind of the main products that I was trying out. And again, I think it's good. I, I like. I don't really have anything negative to say about the collection. It just didn't like pow, pow, speak to me all that much, but I think it's pretty. I think it's a nice collection. Um, if these are colors that you like or you like the reindeer theme, I think that you would like this palette. I like the quality of it. Uh, I thought it was good. I almost flipped these two around, but this next one here coming in at number four, I'm just really impressed with this. This is from Soul Body, which is a ColourPop sister brand, and this is their Vanilla Dream Body Cream. Okay, so I'm almost done with this. You can clearly see, like, this is about to be in an empties video. But this to me, like, I almost flipped it because I was like, oh, you know, I, I, I really like makeup and I don't always include body care products, but I really wanted to include this one and I wanted to put it a little bit higher because this lotion is bomb and I'm pretty sure I'm going to repurchase it even though I already have body lotions like stocked up ready to go. This one when I put it on, I swear it makes my skin literally glow. I put it on after I get out of the shower and I just look like a glowing angel. I, I look very glowy when I put this lotion on and I love it and it smells great. It has that really nice, you know, vanilla scent. It's not too overpowering though. It's nice and lightweight and like silky smooth to apply. 
I'm a huge fan of this. I hope this wasn't like limited edition or something. I guess I'll find out when I go to link this. But this is a great body lotion. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're looking for like a stocking stuffer. Like I said, I'm gonna rebuy it. <laughs> I just love the way it makes my skin look and feel like it feels more hydrated. That's a bomb lotion. Don't miss out on that one. <laughs> Coming in at number three, I have what is on my eyes today, and this is the ColourPop BFF Super Shock Duo. So this is what they release um, with, I believe it's the NK LA, the No Kill Shelter in LA. So we have Mutts About You and also Your Kitten Me. And I really like these. I, I like that ColourPop does this every year. Um, it teams up for a good cause. I think that's great. So I just have these two on my eyes today. And again, you can check the tutorial on my Instagram for a little demo of how I used them. But basically, I just put the Your Kitten Me really all over my lid, just used my finger. And then I came in with Mutts About You. And I just tapped this once again with my finger right in the center of my lid. I really like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I think they're really easy to work with. These are both so sparkly and pretty. They were easy to apply. The eye look took me just a few minutes to do. Again, um, I, I like that they team up with the shelter. Um, I think that's a great thing. So I'm a fan of these. These are usually gonna be limited edition if they're still available. I will link them down below. But I can see myself reaching for these quite a bit. Next up, I have a primer here from NARS. And I have been so impressed with this. And I, I went back and forth between if I should put the Super shocks at number two um, or this one at number two but it's hard for me to fall in love with a primer or to like get really excited for a primer and keep using it and keep using it and keep using it but I really like this one this is their soft matte primer I believe this is a new release um, I know NARS has their whole soft matte collection they have the foundation they have the concealer which I love they have I think like lip products under that line but this one is a it's such a smoothing primer and when I put it on, my face feels so soft and I just feel like it makes everything, once again, so smooth and so blurred that when I put my foundation down, it's just, a di it's just different. It's like my whole skin texture is different. I'm a fan of this. It's kind of like a filter and a primer and uh, I'm all about that life, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm all about that life. So I just keep reaching for this one and keep reaching for this one. So again, that's why I wanted to put it at number two because not a lot of times does a primer really speaks to me all that much. It's really lightweight. Um, it's really easy to blend out on the face. Again, I like to use it especially in my T-zone areas, but I really just, I use it all over my face because it really kind of gives you that blurring effect. And then when you lay down your foundation, it just feels so nice, so smooth, and your skin looks great. So I have been a fan of this one here from NARS. All right, before we hop into my number one product, I do want to do my creator shout out that I do every month. And this month I wanted to shout out Classy on the Run. So she has a really great YouTube channel. I follow her on YouTube and then also on Instagram. And she does a lot of more like high-end luxury type of videos, a lot of hauls, a lot of reviews. Um, I believe she had, was it the Charlotte Tilbury Black Friday? She did a video on that one. Um, I know that she recently did the new makeup releases tag that Angelica and I did. Um, I just watched her video of that one today, which was really fun to watch and see like all of her answers about all the new makeup releases that came out in 2021. But she's super sweet. Um, I think that she's a really nice person. I've been able to talk with her a little bit on YouTube and on Instagram. And I think that she has a really fun channel. I think if you like a lot of the content that I do over here, especially if you kind of gear more towards high end or luxury, I think that you would really like the Classy on the Run channel. So I will link her channel and also her Instagram down below. I hope that you will go check her out. Let her know that I sent you. And let's hop over to my top products. All right, my top pick for this month is a lipstick and it's actually a drugstore affordable lipstick, which has me really excited. This is from Milani. Okay, I did a video recently on um, some amazing products that you can't find at Sephora because I was doing a bunch of Sephora videos in a row around the sale. I was doing recommendations and a wish list and I did multiple hauls and try on hauls. And so I wanted to do a video talking about products that you couldn't find at Sephora products available at Ulta Beauty, affordable products, indie products, that sort of thing. And I mentioned the, I think these are called like the fetish lipsticks from Milani. The particular shade that I really, really love is in teas. It is such a beautiful nude. I have been wearing this one so much. I can't stop wearing it. It's a beautiful matte formula, but it still applies really creamy. It's very easy to apply. It doesn't skip around a lot doesn't feel too drying on the lips. Um, sometimes even a bullet matte lipstick can get really dry on the lips. This feels nice and comfortable. Again, this more brown nude shade is so me. I cannot stop wearing this lipstick. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. 
I'm loving it. I highly recommend these. I know they have quite a few shades also, and they came out with like a nudes collection, and it's so beautiful. Tease is the one that I gravitated towards, but I would highly, highly recommend this one. So that is my top product from Milani. Ooh, ooh, love that. And like I said, I do have a five-star book that I want to shout out this month, so let's hop over into that. All right, so if you did not know, I am also a book blogger. That's actually how I started in social media was back in 2009 with a blog. It is chickletplus.com, which I still do have today, and I still do a lot of book reviews over there. I'm also a published author of eight. I just recently finished my ninth book, finally, and it is going into editing soon, which I'm really excited about. Um, but the five-star book, so if I have a five-star book, I like to include it at the end of these makeup monthly videos, just a little something extra to add in here. But I really enjoy books from Karen White, and she recently released The Last Night in London. I like Karen White's books because a lot of times they go back and forth between past and present. So in this one, we are going back and forth from 1939 to 2019. And this one has a lot of historical details, which... Historical fiction is not always my favorite, but a lot of times, especially with particular authors that I really enjoy, I do really like to learn. It, you know, I'm usually always Googling something as I'm reading these books because I'm like, oh, I didn't know that, or I remember hearing about that in history class, but I didn't quite know everything. And this book was really no exception. So in 1939, it is around the Blitz. Um, and the attacks in London, and I was really Googling a lot, especially being in the US, I feel like I didn't know a lot from the book, so I was really looking up a lot myself while I was reading it. But we follow two friends, uh, Eva and Precious, who are uh, models in London, which was really interesting to learn and to see like how women shopped back in those days and you had the models try on the clothes for you. I don't know, that was really fascinating to me. Uh, but then we also flip back from um, to 2019 where we follow Maddie and we see how her story connects with Eva and Precious and um, the night of the Blitz and what happened and who survived and who didn't. There's love stories intertwined in there, both in the past and the present. It's one of those books that, you know, had me crying at the end. It was, it was really emotional, um, especially knowing that I was reading about true events. The book is fiction, but you are reading about true events that did happen in history. Um, so, you know, that was, that was emotional to read those parts of the story, but it was so well written. I really loved going back and forth. I, I actually really liked the past more. Usually I kind of gravitate towards the, the present, but the past was just, it was so interesting to learn so many different things and to see, uh, especially with it being based in London, just seeing how London was in 1939 and especially during this particular time. Um, I was just really fascinated by the entire book. I remember reading it in the gym one day and I just did not want to stop. I just kept going on the treadmill because I was like, just another chapter, just another chapter. So it was a great thing to do on the treadmill for sure. But I like a lot of Karen White's books and The Last, Light, the Last Night in London gave a five star review too. So I will link it down below if you're interested in reading that one. I'd highly recommend that you check it out. Uh, other than that though, that is it for today's video. That is my makeup monthly, my ranking for the month of November. Have some wrap up videos that I will be doing at the end of the year here for best of beauty and all of those things. Again, I have a Sephora ranking video that I will also be doing here shortly. So a lot of reviews are coming from me, but if you did enjoy this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.